Contaminated water seeping from abandoned coal mine areas, commonly known as abandoned mine drainage or AMD, is the most severe water pollution problem in the coal fields of the Appalachian Mountains of the eastern United States, and certainly in the coal fields of Pennsylvania. Join me and my friends as we explore how AMD is formed, the damage it causes, and the ways you can help with the solution to this problem. Mining is the removal of a resource from the earth. We use mine materials for many purposes. Coal can be burned to produce electricity, used in producing iron and steel, and transformed into hundreds of useful compounds. So over 50% of our power in the United States is generated by coal. Pennsylvania, it's almost 60%. Uh, the byproducts are used in making paints, resins, tars, dyes, bowling balls, cue balls, um, byproducts used in making medicines, makeup that you ladies wear, byproducts of coal used in making toothpaste. Everybody uses coal byproducts probably every day of their life. Abandoned mine drainage is water that has become contaminated as a result of passage through a physical environment created by coal mining activities of the past. This contamination can occur in the underground voids created by mining or it can occur by water passing through coal mining refuse left on the surface. We have water in all coal mines to some degree more or less and as the water leaches through the coal it brings those minerals, iron and sulfur through the coal which forms uh, a lot of the acid mine drainage that we get today that run out of the coal mines. We call it abandoned because prior to 1977, coal mining companies were not required to reclaim the land that they've mined or to restore the water that they've polluted as a result of removing coal from the ground. Coal mining companies went in, they did their mining, they removed the coal, they made their money, and many of them then claimed bankruptcy. So we don't have any responsible parties to go back to to get the money to clean up the damage that was done back then. AMD is Pennsylvania's number one source of pollution to our waterways and in fact over 5,500 miles of streams in Pennsylvania are polluted, many of them completely lifeless as a result of AMD. So, this problem is something that affects each one of us in our daily lives, whether we are aware of it or not. You all drink water, don't you? Cook and wash dishes? Even washing your car requires clean water to start with. In order to do something about this pollution problem, we still have to know a few more specifics about AMD pollution. The nature of AMD contamination varies greatly from site to site, as its formation is dependent on a variety of factors. AMD often lowers water quality and impairs aquatic life, and is most often characterized by one or more of four major components. Let's explore each of these in more detail. AMD often has very low pH or extremely high acidity. It has high metal concentrations, elevated levels of sulfate, and excessive suspended solids and silt. The majority of AMD problems result from the surface water contact with the unreclaimed waste rock and other earthen materials or from the seepage or drainage of groundwater which has contacted the coal or rock strata remaining in an underground mine. If the water becomes acidic it is referred to as acid mine drainage. The amount of acid in a solution can be determined by using a pH scale. This scale ranges from 1 to 14. Anything below a 7 on the pH scale is considered acidic. Anything above a 7 on this scale is considered alkaline. To better relate to this scale, let's look at some common household products. Here, on the very high end of the scale, we have bleach. A little bit less alkaline would be borax, and then we have baking soda. 
7 on the pH scale is neutral. This is normally what we want our drinking water and our streams to be. Below 7 is considered acidic. Here we have orange juice, vinegar, and at the very low end of the pH scale, sulfuric acid, normally found in batteries. So what's the big deal about acid? Acid is a contaminant of primary concern since it can leach toxic concentration of metals from rocks at mine sites. Acid mine drainage can kill fish and aquatic insects, stunt plant growth, eat away concrete metal structures, raise water treatment costs, and color stream banks and beds a bright, rusty, garish orange. Layers of rock and earth above the coal removed during mining commonly contain traces of iron, manganese, and aluminum, and can also contain other heavy metals. These metals can be dissolved from mining sites by acidic mine drainage, or they can be washed directly into streams as sediment. Many metals, though common, can be toxic to fish and other aquatic organisms when they are present in high dissolved concentrations. Most people think contaminated AMD results from chemical reactions in streams, but a significant threat to water quality and aquatic organisms comes from the eroding soils at abandoned mining sites. Tiny fly nymphs, insect larvae, and other organisms that form the base of the aquatic food chain can be wiped out by heavy accumulations of soil and mine waste particles that wash into the streams after rain events. The majority of AMD problems stem from the reaction of the mineral pyrite with water and oxygen. Not one, but a series of chemical reactions occur creating the pollutants that appear in our waterways. The specifics of where and how these reactions occur is dependent on the geology and hydrology of a particular site. No two AMD discharges are exactly alike chemically. In fact, we prefer the term abandoned mine drainage over acid mine drainage because some discharges are actually alkaline. The individual impacts and the options for treating discharges have much variability. Alright, with the help of my two friends, we are going to take an up close and personal look at some AMD. Most AMD is the result of oxygen and water coming in contact with this rock right here. Pyrite, often called fool's gold. A pyrite molecule is comprised of one atom iron and two atoms sulfur. Pyrite reacts when it comes in contact with water and oxygen. Mine drainage can be deceiving. Sometimes uh, it looks like it's perfectly clear, clean water. But if we do some tests and play with this water a little bit, its true colors will be revealed. If we were to, first of all, add some oxygen to our mine drainage, and neutralize the acidity of our mine drainage, we will immediately see the iron that it, uh, just a short while ago was completely dissolved in this acidic water. Take these two bolts, for example. The rusty bolt was exposed to air and water. This is a reaction very similar to pyrite being exposed to air and water. The bolt oxidized just as pyrite oxidizes to produce acid mine drainage. Another common pollutant in mine drainage is sulfur. We can do another experiment to determine how much sulfur is present in the water. We take a little bit of water, we take a little bit of coal, See what happens. My two friends have just found out that sulfur is pretty smelly stuff. Most of you know when you come in contact with small sulfur because it smells like rotten eggs. So there you have it. Sulfuric acid, iron, and sulfates are two contaminants often present in mine drainage. 
Unfortunately, negative effects on our ecosystem are not the only drawbacks of AMD. AMD, of course, impacts fishing opportunities. So it kills aquatic life and decreases the opportunities folks have to, to fish in their streams. Also, AMD impacts property values. A house or a property located within 200 feet of a stream impacted by AMD is going to be decreased in its value. Without recreational opportunities, with decreased property values, you have a somewhat decreased quality of life. Fortunately, there are many ways that we can fix abandoned mine drainage problems. The most effective, inexpensive, and widely employed method to treat AMD are the addition of limestone and the use of wetlands. Wetlands, nature's filters, introduce oxygen needed for the precipitation of iron, filter iron particulates, and remove sediments before entering a stream. As contaminated water comes in contact with limestone, a beneficial reaction sometimes occurs. Limestone is a sedimentary rock that contains a lot of alkalinity. It has the ability to neutralize the acidity that's generated in the pyrite reaction. Even though the mine drainage might contain a lot of other pollutants, with the acidity neutralized, the other pollutants are much easier removed. This gives aquatic life a fighting chance. All treatment strategies for abandoned mine drainage have two common elements. If acidity is present, neutralize it. If metals are present, capture and retain them. Since AMD is Pennsylvania's number one source of pollution to our streams and rivers, I think it's critical for every person in Pennsylvania to be aware of this problem. One interesting fact that we found was that for every dollar that you spend on AMD cleanup, that a dollar and a half is generated in additional economic revenue. Cleaning up AMD impacted streams is good for the economy. Leaving them as is continues to add to a decrease in the quality of life and not so good for the regional and the state economy. We've learned a lot about abandoned mine drainage, including how it's formed, the problems it causes in our streams, and the impact it has upon the economy. Fortunately, there are ways you can help. Get involved with environmental issues. Learn more about the problems associated with AMD where you live. Spread the word and join a local watershed organization.